Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 97. That is, what is defect clustering? Let me answer. Defect clustering is one of the principles of software testing. In software testing, there are different principles. What are they? Testing shows the presence of bugs is a one of the principle. Then we have exhausting testing is impossible as a second principle. Then early testing, third principle. Testing is context dependent, fourth principle. Defect clustering, fifth one. Pesticide paradox, sixth one. And the last one, we have absence of error policy. These are the different principles in software testing. Defect clustering is one of the principles of software testing. So what exactly is this defect clustering? Let me explain. Defects won't be equally distributed across the application. Okay, the defects won't be equally distributed across the application. For example, assume that this particular box is a software. Okay, assume that this particular box is a software and I'll divide this box into multiple portions. Like this, I'll divide this particular box into multiple portions. Let's say this is the entire application. This is the entire application, this box is an entire application. I am dividing this box, that is the entire application, into multiple portions like this. Okay. So here, each and every portion is a functionality of this application. Assume that. So in this entire box, enter box is an application, right? This enter box is nothing but application that you are testing. And in this entire box, each and every portion that I have divided now is a functionality. Functionality one. Okay, let's say this is login functionality, this is register account functionality, this is a, a forgot password, this is logout. Okay, this is search functionality like that. So each and every uh, divided box is a functionality of the application. In this case, guys, okay, in this, in such case, in such case, in such case, so according to the defect clustering, the defects won't be equally distributed across the application. Okay, so if I am testing this entire application, so if I am getting five defects here, I'll not get same five defects here, right? If I am getting five defects in first functionality, I'll not get the same five defects in another and again same. So defects will not be distributed equally. This is not possible. Okay, this is ideal case. Okay, very rarely this will happen, but generally it doesn't happen, right? Defects are distributed equally. Okay. So according to the defect clustering, the defects won't be equally distributed across the application. Rather instead of this kind of thing happening rather most of the defects that are found by the software testers in this particular application will be coming from very less number of functionalities okay majority of the defects come come from a small number of modules or functionalities so uh, maybe this functionality may giving one defect this one will giving one defect one defect one defect okay Let's say you are getting some two defects from this functionality, some two defects from fun functionality, two defects, and here you are getting three defects. Let's say three, okay, three, three, some three defects you are getting. Again, you are getting one defect uh, from this and uh, two defects from this. I'm just uh, creating an example, guys. Okay, just assume. So here eight defects are coming from this. Uh, here some twelve defects are coming from this functionality. Here fifteen defects, and here something around six defects. Okay. So you see, if if I'm testing this application, I and if I'm getting the defects, okay. If I'm dividing this entire application into multiple blocks, and uh, I'm giving the numbers uh, number of defects that are coming from each and every functionality of this application. In this case, you see, uh, according to the defect clustering, the defects won't be equally distributed across the application. You see, here one I'm getting eight. They are not equally distributed, right? If I if they are equally distributed here, if I'm getting five, it should be five here, right? But here you see here one of the functionality we are getting one defect another functionality we are getting eight defects defects are not equally distributed that is one of the thing that defect cluster is mentioning okay that is one of the software testing principle principle that is defect clustering mentioning that different defects won't be equally distributed across the application okay defects will be like this okay this is one of the example and majority of the defects from come from a small number of modules so in this in this if you see guys uh, what are the the so uh, so few functionalities okay small number of modules what are the small number of modules from which most of the defects are coming you see eight defects okay and here 12 defects here 15 here 6 these are the small number of modules okay out of all these modules only in few modules we are getting major of the defects okay majority of the defects are coming from this less number of modules okay this is what is defect clustering this is what happens in real time when you are really testing an application 
that defects won't be equally distributed across application functionalities. Rather, you will get majority of the defects from the small number of functionalities or modules. Okay, that is what is defect clustering. So, hope guys, you got the answer for what is defect uh, clustering from this session. So, that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.